I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I grew up in Harvey. I had eight brothers and sisters. We lived in a shack. Five of us slept in one bed. We had no bathtub and no shower and no hot water. It was a rat-infested, roach-infested shack. Both my parents were alcoholic. I shined shoes in taverns from the time I was six years old till I was 12. I set pins in bowling alleys in the winter. I caddied in the summer. I sold newspapers on the corner to help feed my brothers and sisters. And I'm here to tell you that's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. That's the greatest thing that ever happened to me because that's the way I perceive it. I have all the excuses by psychologists today that I should be in prison, I should be an alcoholic, I should be, if I didn't have success, it's because it wasn't my fault. And that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. You know, all of life is how you perceive it. I perceive it to be a blessing. All those hardships are blessings. A little boy goes in the backyard and he's got a bat and a ball. He said, I'm the greatest hitter in the world. He throws the ball up in the air and he swings and he misses. He said, I'm the greatest hitter in the world. He throws it up the second time and he swings and he misses. He said, I'm the greatest hitter in the world. He throws it up the third time and he swings and he misses. He said, I'm the greatest pitcher in the world. <laughs> His perception. That's the way he perceived it. You know, my childhood, it doesn't matter where I've been. It doesn't matter where you've been. It matters where you're going. I'm convinced that life is 10% of what happens to be a 90% of how I react to it. That little boy's a winner, and so are you. You fought to be here. You're a winner.